Do you know that human brains with their 100 billion neural connections can process billions of bits of information per second? There's more to discover about the human mind, and the newest trend in unraveling the secrets of the mind is the brain-computer interface. In this video, we will be discussing the top 5 most futuristic applications of the brain-computer interface. Let's dive right into it. Number 5. Emotive Wireless Headset To begin with, Emotive creates technology and software that doctors can utilize to improve healthcare. Wireless electroencephalogram EEG headsets from the company may assess stress, attention, and other factors. Clinicians can use Emotive's brain-computer interface technologies to create three-dimensional brain models to aid in the diagnosis of brain diseases and disorders. Brain-computer interfaces have also been designed for various applications, such as controlling blinking lights with one's mind. Emotive wireless headsets read incoming brain signals and translate them into relevant insights and analytics. Researchers now have access to reliable EEG data from demographically diversified participant pool from over 100 nations, thanks to Emotive Labs. By participating in Labs investigations, you can earn money and help shape the future of neuroscience. Would you like to join in the Emotive Labs research? Let us hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't start thinking that the brain-computer interface projects are targeted at only curing illness, because there's more to it. We will soon disclose the brain-computer interface application in the world of gaming, so stay tuned. Number 4. Robotic Arms by University of Pittsburgh In addition, is the robotic arms created by the team at the University of Pittsburgh. Nathan Copeland was 18 years old when a car accident disabled him in 2004. He has lost most of his capacity to move and feel his body. He registered for an experimental study registry while in the hospital. He got a call about six years ago asking if he wanted to participate in a study. A team at the University of Pittsburgh was looking for a volunteer to see if they could learn to control a robotic arm just by thinking about it. This type of brain-computer interface research has been used to investigate everything from restoring motion to paralyzed persons to designing a new generation of prosthetic limbs to converting thought into text. According to companies like Kernel and Elon Musk's Neuralink, small electrodes implanted in the brain can read electrical activity and write data to a computer. Nathan learned over the years to control his hand with his thoughts while monitoring what it did in response. It's the first time a brain-computer interface for a robotic prosthetic has combined real-time motion controls and touch. It's also a massive step towards demonstrating how brain-computer interface can assist people in overcoming paralysis. Thumbs up if you like Nathan's progress with the robotic arm! Number 3. Neurable's N10 and VR Game Moving on is Neurable's brain-computer interface application that interprets human intent and provides telekinetic control of the digital world. Neurable made waves in 2017 when it released the world's first brain-controlled virtual reality VR game. Players gathered in front of a computer wearing an EEG headset and were asked to use their minds to operate a remote-controlled automobile. Neurable is working on building a next-generation brain-computer interface with real-world applications like augmented reality and virtual reality wearables, which can be used in a range of environments and industries, such as transportation and construction. N10 is also Neurable's brain-computer interface that resembles a typical pair of headphones and is equipped with sensors at strategic locations. These sensors, incorporated in the headband and ear cups material, track your neurons and register the electrical impulses your brain creates. It monitors and even invites you to take a break to refresh your mind when tired. In fact, N10 is intelligent enough to measure how you move, drink water, and smile to determine how to improve overall productivity. Neurable and Neuralink sure sound similar, and people might mistake these two brain-computer interface companies as one. But they are different with different brain-computer interface applications. Since we've already talked about Neurable, we will be talking about Neuralink soon. So stay tuned! Number 2. Synchron Stentrode Not all, but Synchron is another relevant business that develops brain-computer interface applications. The Stentrode, Synchron's flagship invention, is an endovascular brain implant that allows patients to control digital devices wirelessly by thinking and improving functional independence. Synchron's core technology, a motor neuroprosthesis, MPN, is implanted through the jugular vein, but we have another brain-computer interface application surgically placed into the skull. We will discuss that next, so stay tuned. It does not need drilling into the skull or open brain surgery. 
The system is intended for paralyzed patients due to various diseases, and it is designed to be user-friendly and dependable enough for patients to operate independently. Once implanted, Synchron's device travels to the brain via blood arteries. After reaching the brain, the centrode converts the brain activity into signals that may be used to text, email, purchase online, and perform other tasks using an external device. We hope you are enjoying this video. If you are, then subscribe to this channel for similar unique content. Number 1. Neuralink Furthermore, Elon Musk's brain-computer interface is another futuristic application to consider. Neuralink is working on a device implanted in a person's brain and would record and stimulate brain activity. The company has turned to academia to recruit several well-known neuroscientists who can help design the next generation of brain-computer interfaces. Neuralink demonstrated one of their chips installed in a pig named Gertrude in 2020. The presentation explained how the chip would correctly forecast the positions of Gertrude's limbs while she walked on a treadmill and captured the brain activity while the pig sniffed about for food. In April 2021, Neuralink took their animal demos further by demonstrating a monkey playing video games with its mind. Pigger, a macaque monkey, was filmed playing the video game Pong. Pigger used a joystick not linked to the console to play the games, which meant he controlled the cursor and his brain impulses as his arm moved. Elon Musk brain-computer interface technology will aid those paralyzed due to spinal or brain injuries by allowing them to control technological logical devices with their minds. Brain-computer interfaces have a bright future ahead of them. It may not be long before the neurotechnologies championed by these companies become a reality thanks to advances in machine learning and artificial intelligence tools and the increasing power of computer processors. If you enjoyed this video, check out our other video on how does a brain-computer interface work. Thank you for watching. We will see you soon in the following video.